What did you find to be the most surprising thing? I mean, you just mentioned left-handed IBS. <laughs> but of your actual catalog, the most surprising thing that innovative research is selling to scientists. It, Chris, it changes every week. I would struggle to come up with the most surprising thing. I can reflect back on that first week starting four years ago and having that hallway conversation, you know, back when people weren't working from home, it was pre-pandemic and we were having hallway conversations about projects or things that were coming up in the business. And we had a request for 50 liters of horse urine. I will never forget that conversation because in the back of my mind, I'm laughing. We're talking about 50 liters of horse urine. Somebody's going to make a joke. Somebody's going to crack a smile. Somebody's going to say some comment about the fact that we're talking about 50 liters of horse urine. Nope. It was every day. This is an everyday conversation about the weight and how are we going to ship it. And it was so every day. And so every week, a week does not go by that we get a request of something that surprises me. I mean, it just shows you how naive I was in week one that horse urine would surprise me because the things that I see now, it's like, well, of course, of course we're being asked for that because it, it, I'm sure it exists somewhere. So it's a very interesting process. And, and that's part of the fun that comes through the business is, okay, this is what we were asked for. Look at our network. Where do we go? How do we figure this out? And that's part of the fun. It is truly part of the fun of our organization is those researchers who come to us and say, okay, I've got one for you. This is what I'm looking for. And being able to supply that, there's a certain kind of pride that comes in finding some of those things. 